the high velocity dryer is what it says. It blows air at a higher volume. Usually this is measured in cubic feet per minute. This is versus a stand dryer, which is uh, blows maybe higher heat, it, uh, but it doesn't blow as hard. The high velocity dryer is needed for grooming because it is very efficient at drying and also it can remove dead coat uh, from uh, double coated breeds which allows you to have more efficient drying time. I have a canine too. I love this dryer. I've used it now for 30 years. I've had it well maintained. Now uh, Bill maintains it and he does an excellent job. One of the disadvantages of a high velocity dryer is the noise. They are loud. So for the grooming van, I wanted to put it behind a wall to keep the noise in the salon area down. This also helps to keep things organized and ready to use. I replaced the two switches on the motor housing with wiring to the inside switch panel to control the two motors of the dryer. These wires connect to this with an outlet that allows the dryer to be removed when it needs to be serviced. I welded two brackets to the back wall to attach the dryer to. These also provide attachment points for a shelf to store spare parts and work lights and anything else I need up there. The output of the dryer connects to a one and a half inch ABS drain pipe. I use sweeps instead of elbows to cut down on the resistance to the airflow. Then I pass the pipe through the back wall into the closet along the side to a reducer, then through the front wall to the hose connection. Sherry seems to like this setup. I love the setup. It is much quieter. I am not being bothered by the noise. Uh, it used to be I would have to even wear uh, earmuffs or earplugs. Now I don't, and the dogs are uh, more relaxed and calm because they aren't being uh, bombarded by all this noise. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, press the like button below and subscribe. And also check out our other videos.